Hi, this is Mark here. I'm um, making a quick video on how I removed uh, bearing races with a Harbor Freight shop press. Um, the normal way that you remove races is you take a drift and you knock on either side on the inside here to knock out this lower race. But uh, the hubs I had, the races were so tight that I could not knock them out that way and I was worried that I was going to break the hubs. I've cracked a set of hubs before and I don't want to do that again because it costs more money than it was worth. And so I was thinking, how can I remove these races using my Harbor Freight shop press? And I came up with a quick little uh, way to do it that worked really well, and that's what I'm going to share with you today. Okay, so here is the little tool I made. Uh, what I need to do, so these are basically two drifts is what this equals to. I've got a threaded piece a bolt here and this wouldn't have to be threaded if you can't do threads you could put a nut on the inside let's see it's a uh, let me measure here it's a three quarter inch bolt this is this one here and then this is a bolt that I cut specifically for this but I believe that's a would a three quarter would work there as well so what you do is you slide this down into here so what I'm gonna do let me move this put this in the center you slide that down into there and then you start to tighten this all right and so let's see I don't think I'm in all the way no you got a long way to go let me loosen this up go down some more well there we go are we in yet yep yeah, we're in okay so I got that let me grab my flathead here I'm going to tighten this down. I want to tighten it pretty good there. All right, so now I've got that tight. And if you look in there, you can see that this is press is slap up against both sides of the inside of that race. So now I can press this with my shot press. Hopefully, it should, and it'll press that race right out. Another thing I forgot to show you is I ground these down so that they're kind of rounded on the inside so that they'll, I'll get more contact area. I'll show you that when I remove it. All right, so let's go over to the press now and see if I can knock this out. Okay, I want to add another little tip here is before you knock out your races, uh, go and measure the depth into the hub that they are with a ruler or a micrometer and write that down. That way, when you go to press in your new races and you can be positive that you've set those races in to the correct depth. You would think that once you press the race in and you hit that lip, you'll know it. But on that last set of hubs I did, they were so tight that I couldn't tell when I had bottomed them out. I thought I had them all the way in when I went to install them on the trailer. One side, one, one of the hubs, the races weren't all the way in and I couldn't get the nut all the way on. So I had to come back down to the shop and put some more pressure on those races and they popped in some more. So I thought next time I do it, I'm going to measure. That way I can check the measurement when I'm done and I'll know that those races are completely seated. Okay, now here we are on the press. This is a Harbor Freight 12 ton shot press. You see I've got the little tool set up in there and the key part is to try to make sure you center so that you're pushing on both bars at the exact same time. Let's see if this will work. And there we go. Let's pressing that race out nice and easy pressing on both sides at the same time so I don't have to worry about breaking my hub and there you go I just removed the race from that side BAM okay so there we go I've removed the race and that was the hard one to get to I have a set of Harbor Freight uh, bearing and seal uh, removers the little round set that I could use now to press out the second seal I'm sorry race but let's go ahead and try this again on this side because if it works right and there we go pressing that race out now one of the keys is you have to try multiple times you might have to move your this little tool around so that when you press it's not moving to one side or the other you got to make sure you press straight down. It just takes a minute to position the tool. 
and there you go easy as pie no beating no don't have to worry about breaking your hub you can knock out races easy all right so let me show you here how I tapered these on the end so that I get a better uh, contact area on this particular hub I was having trouble getting a good contact into the edge of the race because the inside is kind of tapered so I put this in my vise and I as you can see I kind of beat the ends out just a little bit so it got a better grip on the inside of those races so there's my little tool super simple to make and it knocks out races thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it